Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Secret to Success podcast. We strive to bring you the top leaders in their industries so you can learn their secrets to success, so you can grow and build your businesses, be prosperous, and live the dreams that you are so looking to live. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at the ATSJR.com for more information about the ATSJR companies and to find out more about how to live your dreams and reach that middle class exit and live the life that you were supposed to live. Freedom is abundance and abundance is freedom. Let's all go live it. Thank you again for joining us for another episode of the Secret to Success podcast. All right, my man, Dakota Jones, man, let me tell you, I'm getting ready. I think this is our first of what, 10 sessions? Yes, sir. Outstanding, man. I'm looking forward to giving you as much value as possible, and I'm also looking forward to releasing this out to the public or something and making sure a lot of people get help as fast as possible. Let's start off with a few different ways. Know that I've been watching you because I knew this was coming up, so I'm gonna, we're going to talk about a little bit of that, but before we do that, why don't you tell the world who you are real quick, and then we can start there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My name is Dakota Jones. I am from Ellersville, Mississippi. I'm a sophomore at Jones College, where I'm a business administration business administration major. Um, I own a a business in Laurel Mall. Um, I'm a sneaker artist, and I have a sneaker business. Um, I'm a very genuine young guy, and just super eager to learn from one of the best. I sure appreciate you, man. Dakota has become one of my favorite people. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing with that. I'm dead serious. I mean, I met this guy. First off, he's taller than me. That don't really bother me, but, you know, I mean, standing next to the guy, he has freaking arm on my shoulder, right? He's freaking tall. And what are you, man, 20? 21? 19. 19, yeah, 19. see. 19 years old. You got your own business. It's called Luminous Footwear, right? Yeah, Luminous Footwear. Luminous Foot Gear, that's right. Luminous Foot Gear. I love what you're doing. Instagram, your major, I mean, your main platform, is that right? Yes, sir. Instagram, it is. Outstanding. Outstanding. Instagram is going to be, it is your main platform. That makes sense. Number one platform in the world. I'm going to make some stuff about that, too. We'll talk about that as well. But let's see. Um, what I want you to do, man, take these instructions down for me real quick. I want you to email Deanna. Uh, the world knows that's my assistant. And I want you to email her every single way that people can buy from you and find you, every single way possible. Because every time I release these, I'm putting up your information. I'm going to use these 10 sessions to not only bless you and train you, get you great, but I'm also going to use it as an opportunity for a launching pad for you to get some new sales as well. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, so when I drop this on YouTube, whatever, podcast, Basically, I want people to see your information. This is my, you know, I want this to be a great blessing to you. So let's get at it, man. I, first off, I love everything you stand for. The real talk, I do. I love everything you stand for, and I, I'm equally as excited. I, I actually thought we were going to start last week. I was excited last week, but we start now. One of the first things I want you to do is I want you to step up the level of attention you're getting. So before you tell me anything, I'm going to tell you the first things I saw from, from just watching you. You are doing a fantastic job getting attention. You're taking pictures with folk, right? But from the outside looking in, two things immediately stand out to me. Thing number one, you're not shining hard enough, okay? Yes, sir. You put your foot on their neck, right? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what your – practices, where you're coming from. I don't know if it's righteousness. I don't know if you're just being nice. Stop being nice. Put your foot on their neck. You understand what I'm saying? That yes, means, sir. man, you got to. I think you're, how many times you post on Instagram? I'm going to say three a day. How many times you posting? Um, Right now I post like maybe twice a day. Um, yeah. Maybe yeah. like, and like with Ten. my stories also, I post on my stories pretty frequently. Stories between stories and the post that I'm looking at, 10. You need to be looking at 10, 20 posts a day, easily. Easily. Man, 
until I want you to post so much until 10% of your people are complaining. Okay. <laughs> until you, yeah. Yeah. If you, man, listen, you are not in business until 10% of the audience is complaining of, of, about you. Are you, are you Apple or Android? Apple. How many people, you know, complain about Apple? Oh, not many. Exactly. Well, now, how many, how many Android users, you know, complain about Apple? Well, most of them do. They have Android. You know, they complain about it. Exactly. Exactly. Right. So you got Apple users don't really complain, but anybody Android complains. So basically, fifty percent of the world is complaining about Apple. That's when you're doing business. Yeah. Right. As in this recording, who's the president of the United States? Donald Trump. Donald How many Trump. people complain about Donald Trump? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing business. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm drawing? Before Donald Trump, who was the president of the United States? It's the Barack Obama. And how many people? You, you get the point, right? Everybody complains. You know, the other half of America complains. So you got the you got the left side of America complaining about Trump. You got the right side of America complaining about Obama. The truth is, they're both great men. It doesn't matter what we think about them. That doesn't mean the point. They're both winners, is what we can say at least. They're both absolute winners. And since they are winners. People complain about them. Okay, so here's the deal, man. Your lesson number one, make people complain because you're winning. I want you to write that down. I want you to put that in your heart. People are, yes, they are not complaining about you right now. First thing I know is on Instagram. People need to be, now I'm not telling you Make them complain with your performance. Don't do that. Right? Don't do that. That's terrible because the market only rewards excellence. I'm telling you, when you become excellent, everybody poor is going to be mad at you for that. And they're going to complain. Yes. Yeah. Right now, you don't have enough complaints. Just put your foot on their neck. You should be at 10 posts. You should be – so let me give you some examples of posts, okay? You can you can go in your Note app on iPhone, say something fly, say something – your next idea. Do you post your to-do list, screenshot that, put it in square form, boom, throw it out there. You could take a picture of one of your designs, put that out there. You you took you took a picture like three or four days ago with some dude. I don't even know who the dude was. Looked like a big deal. He was standing next to you, looking at just like two or three days ago, looking at your shoes. Yeah, you, know, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. He had your shoes. That was fly. I don't even know the dude. I don't know who he is. I'm pretty sure he's a big deal. But the picture has some good energy on it, and it made me say, "Yeah, my man doing this thing." <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying? Like, like, look, look how much, look how little I know. I don't know who that dude was, but he looked like a big deal, right? Uh, right. I, I don't even know what, what what shoe you had on. I don't know where you was. I don't know nothing about the picture. All I know is I like the picture. It looked like a big deal. I wanted 10 more. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, there we go, man. So you got the lesson, right? Yeah, and, and I'm not. Now this is this is Grant Cardone's 10x, right? But that's not what I'm attempting to do. But however, Grant Cardone's 10x should be said all over the place, every time, all of the, all of the day long, right? Basically, you are doing a good job. Now, stop doing a good job and become a monopoly. That's lesson number two. This is just for me observing. Yeah, become a monopoly. This is just for me observing you. You should be posting so much and doing so well that when anybody thinks about a young sneaker artist, they need to think about Dakota. If somebody travels to North or South Dakota, they need to think about you. If the word shoes come out of somebody's mouth, they need to say, you know what, man, it brings me a good story, man. This is young cat I saw. You get it? If they think about an old shoe designer, Dakota, you get the point? I get the point. That's it, man. Do that, do that, do that. Let's see, there was a couple other things. Oh, another thing that I want you to do 
on your on your just for your post alone. Like forget, I'm just focused on Instagram. I'm not even. I'm not worried about telling you LinkedIn on the we would do all that later. I want you to shift up the narrative too. Okay, and then, then this is how you gonna get them. Because right now you're saying shine, shine, shine. Look at me, look at me, look at me. My shoes, my shoes, my shoes. Actually, you got two pages because you you got the you got the luminous foot. Gear page and your yes, page because you added me on both of them. So all right, this is yes, what sir. I want you to do, bro. I want you to find a way to where whether it be a six second video, minute video, or IGTV video. What I want you to do is I want you to find a way to shift your narrative to giving back. Find a way. I don't know how you're gonna do it. To find a way, right? You, here you are with kids younger than you. Switch before they take control of your narrative. You switch it on them before they do it. So, right? Um, you see this a lot of people when, when we sell books. You see, buy my book, buy my book, buy my book, and then we'll switch it up on you. We'll say, hey, I'm giving out ten books for free. I'm giving out. I'll be in Dallas. I'm giving out a thousand books for free. We'll switch up the narrative. Because it keeps us genuine, and we don't come off as someone saying me, 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 me. Now we're a brand that's saying, "Hey, I also care about you." Feel me? Got it. Now, one more thing, and then I'll let you talk and ask me questions. IGTV, we should be dominating that. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you know, there's a standalone app for IGTV. You probably know. And just this morning. As of this recording, just this morning, I saw that they got a series feature. That means you can follow your favorite creator, and they can do series just this morning. It's for, have you heard of the series feature yet? Oh, no, sir, I haven't. Man, I just saw it this morning. Bro. Like I'm, You got to remember, I'm on business, sales, and marketing. My job is to stay on top of these things. Just saw it this morning. Now, I even went and looked to see if it had some of my favorite creators, and I didn't see them have series yet. So either they don't have the option, or they just don't talk about it yet either, right? But they all gonna know about it. Here's what's gonna happen. Yes, sir. I guarantee you, Facebook. I'm telling you here first, Facebook is going after YouTube. They're doing the very best they can. They got Facebook Watch and they got Instagram TV. Facebook is going. Facebook is is playing a whole different game now. They're playing a game of screen time. You need to be dominating that. Since Facebook, Instagram want to play screen time, so does Luminous Click here. You feel me? So do you. So what you're going to do is, and I leave this up to you, but you need to find, you need to, and make it, make sure it's vertical video. Okay? If there is something about vertical video, which is, it is a new trend, but it's been a new trend for a while. Don't, don't make it horizontal. It's cool to make it horizontal, but make this vertical video. because We've heard for years that it's important to have a diversified portfolio. You know what I mean. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, that kind of thing. But if you've ever really looked at a breakdown of the most successful portfolios, you'll typically see a diversified set of real estate. So why isn't it one of the first asset classes you consider when you're looking to diversify? It's pretty simple. It hasn't been available to investors like you and me until now. And that's thanks to Fundrise. Fundrise makes it easy for all investors to diversify by building you a portfolio of institutional quality real estate investments. So whether you're just starting to invest in real estate or looking to add more, our friends at Fundrise have you covered. And here is how. To date, Fundrise manages more than $1 billion in assets for 130,000 plus investors. And since 2014, the Fundrise platform has averaged 8.7 to 12.4% annual returns and investors have earned more than $79 million in dividends alone. Not only that, the greatest thing that I like about Fundrise is to get started for someone like me who hasn't really delved into the uh, real estate portfolio or the real estate asset side of things. To get me started, they have this wonderful questionnaire that you can go through and it puts you, once you finish it, it lets you know where you can start and what you need to do. 
Also, the Fundrise team of real estate professionals carefully vet and actively manages all of their real estate projects. And with their easy to use website, you can track your own portfolio's performance and watch as properties across the country are acquired, improved, and operated via asset updates. So start building your better portfolio today. Get started with fundrise.com slash success to have your first 90 days of advisory fees waived. Again, that's fundrise, F-U-N-D-R-I-S-E dot com slash success to have your first 90 days of advisory fees waived. Again, that's fundrise.com slash success. It gives you this feeling of, Man, I'm behind the scenes with Dakota. Man, if I, I should be. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Like, I shouldn't even be seeing this. Place. Yeah, yeah. Let people, give people access to you, man. You know, let, let them sit. Just put it all on RGTV. And, and don't worry about who watching. I was teaching some folk last night in my private network. I got a podcast called Brick by Brick. With Antonio T. Smith Jr. and Tempest S. Smith. We've been doing this since 2012, bro. I pushed out almost 300 episodes before people started paying attention to me. Thank you. And that was that was hard. I'm telling you, just the effort was hard. But get all that. Don't worry about who watching. You need to get it done. Right? It took it took 300 episodes and five years before people before I heard from my first fan. His name is Ryan. He lives in Canada. Well, God, that's the truth. That's a real talk. But now it's all good. You feel me? It's all right. So those are those observations I just made from just watching you. So we're gonna break this down in two pieces. I'm gonna let you respond back to all those observations since the energy is there, and then we can double back to the beginning of the phone call. You can ask me whatever you want. So let's start off with the energy of I just gave you some observations, told you what to do. Go ahead and respond back to that, and we can go back and forth. Yes, uh, I wrote down the four. Uh, make people complain. That's the first I wrote about. Um, yeah, I have been posting like since October, as far as like just on uh, the, the October fifth meeting we had in Macomb. I haven't posted so much about Luminous Figure. Like, yeah, I used to think about am I posting too much? Am I posting too much? Because I didn't want to drown like drown people out. I wanted to be kind of um exclusive, like I'm still here to be exclusive, but I guess I had the wrong perspective of that. So yeah, I'm I'm going to post so much like more since we're on the phone now. Like just like you say, ten post ten, twenty posts a day on Instagram. Like I'm gonna take advantage of that. Absolutely. I don't want to do it like Your favorite people doing it, right? Yeah, they are. <laughs> there you go. So you go be somebody right. else's favorite people. Yes, sir, that's right. Yep. I I just thought they um they post so much because people wanted to hear from them so much. I didn't I guess I didn't know the value of knowing that. I didn't know the value. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely post more and get them. No doubt. No like, doubt. Yes, sir. No it's, doubt. I'm glad like, you coach like, them. Yeah, no, nah, I'm glad you coach them, man. And what, what it is, man, a bunch of average people taught you don't oversaturate yourself. Don't be irritated. Don't post yes, too sir. much, right? That, you know, yes, they sir. taught me the same thing. You feel me? And yes. and they listen to me talk right now and disagreeing with me right now, right? So what? Yes, sir. Get it in. In fact, I'll tell it to you this way. We need to stop acting like new businesses and start acting like real businesses. Mm-hmm. You ain't never seen Coca-Cola say, oh, man, Dakota, we're not going to drop this commercial no more. I know you've seen it already. you never seen it. Oh. you you never seen Verizon Wireless go, hey, man, hey, don't. I'm sorry for it coming at you again. No. They're coming at your head every chance they get. That's right. You go catch a city bus, they got, right? Because they're on the side of the bus. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, you listen to a podcast, they all, you know what I'm saying, man? No matter what they're at your head, you go at their head. Except for since you're a personal brand, you get to be cool with it. You get to do vertical video, put people out of scenes. We get to take pictures. You get to show your your graphics. I mean, not your, you know what I'm saying, your design. You get to do all that stuff, man. Right? Yes, sir. Cool. Okay. Okay. Keep going. And, um, yeah, with the becoming a monopoly, 
Yes, I um I totally agree with that because like um like when, you, when I think of basketball, I think of like the best basketball player. I don't just think of like every team. I just think of one. Mm-hmm. Like, you just think about it, one person coming to your mind. And I think mm-hmm. like that's a good point. That's it. That's my yeah. favorite player. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he's great. Um, yeah. Think of football. Think of one player. So yeah, I'm just saying like that's that's very important because yeah, that's when it's more business and it's gonna like it, it, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. Yeah, I ain't even think about that basketball analogy. That's that's perfect. I'm gonna have to use that. Thank you very much. I'm uh, I'm a quote here and I use it. <laughs> All right, but that's good though. That's good. That's definitely good. Okay, okay. What else feedback you got or, or questions from that? Um, on that top right there, I just okay. But it made me think about it better. You know, okay. So um, that makes sense. You know, that's on number two. Number three, find a way to shift the narrative, giving back. That's actually what's going on with the um the ambassador group I'm in out of Macomb. I don't know if yep. I can say the name. Yep, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah, you can say the name, man. I don't care if you promote people, man. Go ahead, just no. Yes, put uh, people F- on. FY Whoop. That's actually it's a nonprofit organization we're in. So that's 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 just that right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And I saw you post like two days ago, maybe it was three days ago. I'm an entrepreneur, man. These days we run that together. But I saw you was yes, with. All the kids, and you was with Shanta. I, I saw the picture. It looked real good. Do more of that too, right? Plenty yeah. more of that. Yeah, plenty more of that, man. Plenty more of that. So that's good. So that was three. I think I gave you a fourth one. Probably IGTV yeah. or something. Yes, sir. Dumbly IGTV, Facebook screen time. Yeah, it said vertical video, not horizontal. And um, to give them the access of like they're in the room with, you know, with me. So yeah, that I didn't know that at all. I did not know that. Yeah, well, that's something I've been studying here lately, man. Vertical video, I've been sleeping on vertical video because horizontal video, as an editor, is just better, right? But but your customers aren't necessarily they have a different they have a different definition of better. While vertical video, remember IGTV just start letting you flip the the video to the side now, right? They just start. You start to put turn your phone sideways. Now they got it to where you can go full screen. But vertical video, Vine, and Snapchat, you know, t- t- TikTok is great proof of vertical video, which you need to be on TikTok as fast as possible, right? But TikTok is fantastic proof of vertical video because there's something if there's something psychologically different about seeing vertical video it it's like watching dj Khaled's snapchats right like man i shouldn't even be seeing this right you, you know what i'm saying it's something about that and you give people that access to man the more you give people access like that is you know the more that you you'll you'll definitely convert themselves fair enough yes, yes. all right cool no doubt. Let's shift focus real quick. Let's make this all about you and not my observations. You got the floor. Now ask me anything you want, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. Yes, sir. I, I should have run up, thrown out some questions, but um, I'm nah, ain't no it. problem. Yes, I love coming from there, like just ahead, just to uh, ask any yep. questions. Yep. Um, let me see anything or anything in my mind right now. Like, well, what I what I can right. do is. I can steer you in a few directions too, and then then you can keep your you can keep your adaptability. Like stay in your gift, right? I can tell you think well on your feet, so stay in your gift. Don't let me take you out your gift, but I'll steer you in a few directions too, and then use your gift with my directions. Fair enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So give me your top three pain points, and then we and then use your gift inside of that too. So the top three things you think are holding you back, or the top three things you want to accomplish the most. Start there, and then it'll get your brain moving. Top three things I want to accomplish: um, publicity. Okay, that's we already we actually already addressed that that whole conversation in front. That is publicity, but let me add something to that real quick. That's there right. is oh. no, there's no more difference. PR and and marketing used to be different. Used to be two different things. Not anymore. This is something I don't think people know this yet, but what, uh, so let, let me explain the difference between PR and marketing. Marketing is a form of sales. Marketing is 
what um, so let me try, try to dumb this down. Let me start off with PR. You need to help me dumb down market. PR is me convincing you you gotta buy from Dakota. Right? You have to. You're you're foolish if you don't. Look at them. Come on. I right? Dakota. Look at them. Go buy from them. Right? It's me. It's like the movie Inception. It's me planting the idea in you, and you think it's your own idea that buy from Dakota is the right thing to do. That's PR. <laughs> me, me shaping through story your story and planting the idea in people that they need to do something you want them to do. That's PR. Marketing is simply putting yourself out. I mean, I'm doing a good job trying to dumb this down. It's putting yourself out there through a medium that allows people to see you and what you're doing. Terrible definitions, but they are they are effectively doing their purpose right now. Sure. Now, there is no difference between those two no more. You know why? And I guarantee you every PR in the world is feeling the hurt of the Internet right now because or social media, not the Internet, because, dude, you can shape your own story now. I just – the whole conversation me and you were having about IG was a full PR conversation. Sure. It wasn't marketing. That was PR. And you cut out the middleman. And you can do it yourself. So there is no more PR and marketing. There is just you with your personal brand now, which is PR and marketing, right? So your, your number one pain point we've already addressed. I just wanted to let you know that you got the power. So while you think you need PR, you are PR. You feel me? Yes, so now, here's some people that I would encourage you to follow. You're probably already following Gary Vaynerchuk. If not, you should be. He's the name of one Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V. If you're not following Gary V, I want you to listen. I want you to find his podcast as fast as possible. Start from episode one. I see Gary yes. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely do that. And, and actually, you know what? Let me just let me just stick you at Gary V. Let me just put you right there. I want him to give you no other name. Gary, and then you could you could put V, like the letter V in, in the search, or is, you just put V or V E E, and it'll, it'll take you to him. It's yes, Vayner yes. Chuck is his name. Two, boom. All right, so give me the other two pain points or what you're trying to accomplish. With me, I also want to like have mass production with with, with the shoes. Like I don't want to have yes. time wasted with that mass production. I want to mass produce. Um, good, good. Yeah. Give, give me, give me the third one real quick, cause we're gonna spend a lot of time on this number two. Oh, three, three, three. Um, there we go. Let me see. Let's see. Three, 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 three. I, I really can't think of a third right now. Nah, that's cool. Don't, don't force it. Don't force it. Stay in your gear. All right, let's, let's. Uh, you, you, you are writing down, right? Cause I'm about to. Yes, sir, I am. Yeah. All right. Here we go. I want you. Okay. First off, you don't have to write this down. Just receive this information. I don't know where you got wanting to control your own distribution from, but it's the best thing you've said so far, okay, for a lot of reasons. Now, you can write this down. The okay. businesses that will survive the next recession, actually not survive, the businesses that will thrive in the next recession, or any recession for that fact, have large distribution systems. That's facts. And that's all facts. The larger the distribution, the more you will survive. Now, if you want to study distribution, I invite you to study Google, Amazon, any network marketing company, multi-level, so Google, Amazon, multi-level marketing. Yes, sir. Apple. The reason why I'm telling you this, because the last recession, now you're too young to, you remember it, but you're too young to have experienced.
experienced it because the last recession was 10 years ago and you were nine. But it was 2008, 2009. Apple, Google, Amazon, they were not big deals. They were good companies. They were not the deals. They were not the global powers that they are now. It was the recession that made them that way. Okay. The the recession of 2008 was a, by the time historians start talking about it, it was really a line of demarcation. It was, it was the line that took us out of the industrial age that you learned about in school to the technology, right? right to the to the technology era. We are now in the technology age. It's no or information age is what it's called. There's no doubt about it. Anything that operate any business model that operate on an industrial model, what's that? Think of, think of Detroit. How you have an assembly line, a line. How you have an assembly line. One person doing a excuse me, that one person doing a job, but never getting the whole picture, and ten people on an assembly line doing that job. Now today, one person do ten jobs with the aid of technology, us being smarter, or our smartphones, whatever that may be. You know, I have, I'm running a multi-million dollar company. My core employees, there's five of them. That's, a, that's insane, right? That's, that's insane, bro. That's, that, it doesn't make sense. I'm getting ready to hire, well, I've ever had 22 people, I hired one. But actually, now I'm just, I'm going to hire 22 people. And there are just going to be hourly employees, but I'm not going to go past that. Like, I'm going to be running, I'm going to get to billions and billions of dollar company if I can with, you know, less than 100 employees. I don't need them. Don't need them because I operate on a different model, right? So you so, want to get distribution is the most fantastic thing I've heard you say. Um, and in the church world, they say flesh and blood did not reveal that to you. You were well beyond your years. And I don't know well why you won, but I'm glad you won. So let's break this down real quick. Let's define distribution. And I'm going to give you another simple definition because it's the only thing that matters, just the understanding of it. Okay? Distribution means how far and fast can you get your product in front of people? Sit. Sit. How far and fast can you get your product in front of people? Get it. That's, that's it, bro. This, you know, this again, terrible definition, but facts. This, just because, like, it's terrible definition for a school paper. It's facts and business. Now, before I can move forward, I need to know, and I'm going to ask you a tough question. You probably haven't asked yourself this before. Maybe you have. How much money in total sales, I mean gross, that means before before salary comes out, before taxes come out, how much in gross sales do you want to make a day? A day. Yeah. Um. I really want to make a great amount of money. Okay, great is good. You got the right mentor then. So you to throw you throw you a number. Well, tell you a. So throw me a number that you gonna whatever number you gonna give me, I'm gonna make you. I'm either gonna correct it or I'll make you commit to it. So stay in your gift. I'll do the rest. Like you, uh, five thousand a day. Too low. Too low. Look, yeah, hell yeah, it's too low. Let's go with fifty thousand a day. Fifty thousand a day. Okay. Fifty thousand a day. Let's go with fifty thousand a day. Okay. Now. If you shoot for fifty thousand a day, which is hard for you to believe in, and you hit five thousand a day, do you care? Uh, no, no, you got right. You got five thousand a day. You don't care. But if you shoot for five thousand a day, 
and you get 50 a day, right? You just you go. So let's shoot for 50,000. Give me? Let me recommend a book to you real quick before we move on. I'm assuming you've never read Greg Cardone's 10X. Yes, sir. All right. I want you to get that book. Okay. Grant Cardone, 10X. Because, 10X. yeah, that principle I just gave came right out of, well, the, the example I gave came right out of that. And I mentioned something else early in the call, and it was something, it was another pearl from that, and you didn't recognize either one of them. You want to read that book before our next session? I want you to have that book read. Now, you can buy it on Audible. If you have Audible, right, like audio books, you're more than welcome. I, I, you know, as long as you get the information in your head, I don't care how you listen to it. Okay, I don't care how you get it. Okay, and I'll, I'll let that book explain itself, and then that will that will help us move forward. Now, fifty thousand dollars is what you should be thinking today. The reason why you should be thinking fifty thousand dollars because it's your birthright. It is your birthright to make fifty thousand dollars a day. Period. Period. It is. Now, that's not even that much. That's $18.2 million a year. You got Jeff Bezos is making this. He's making $18 million a day. You know what I'm saying? So it's not even that much. Now, I'm going to give you some real numbers, okay? I want you to write these numbers down. To all of my coffee drinkers out there, what if your morning coffee supported girls going to school? With Gorongosa Coffee's Girls Run the World Blend, you can do just that. Each bag equals a day of education for a young woman in Mozambique. The aroma when you first start brewing it, when it hits you, it just wakes you up and gets you ready for the day. And the flavor itself is even smoother. So you can use our code A. T-S for 20% off your first order at gorongosacoffee.com. That's G-O-R-O-N-G-O-S-A coffee.com for premium coffee with real impact. Let me just say to you, ladies and gentlemen, Deanna just made me the most fantastic cup of coffee and we're both drinking it. And the flavor is robust. It's just really good and it smells great. So I'm really excited to be sharing this with you. Now back to me sipping some more coffee. And I don't want you to forsake these numbers because this is where, where I what 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 I excel at is business systems. That's what made me stand out. I mean growing up homeless, six to eighteen, my my brain well I had to first I've been making money so I was like six and a half. So it's the advantage I have. But business system is what I do well. How much does your lowest shoe cost? Um, are you using like a uh, like a, a custom or like that? The one, give me the. It doesn't matter, custom or non-custom, whatever you do it. What's the lowest amount of money you can make? Forty bucks. Okay. Now, is that your profit or is that the sale? That is my profit. Good. So we're going to stick with 40 bucks, okay? Now, now let's go with... All right, let's take some real numbers. I want... I, well, I'll do the math for us, but if you want... But write down the math I'm doing, okay? Yes, sir. 50,000 yes, divided by 40 equals 1,250. And I'll tell you what these numbers mean here in a second. Yes, sir. So basically, let me write this again now. I'm saying, I'm going to say the same thing, but this time I want you to dress it up. Now you can, you can just dress it up. $50,000 divided by my profit yes, sir. equals how many shoes I need, or that product, we'll call it how many of that product I need to sell at this product, I mean at this profit, okay? $50,000 daily 
divided by my profit equals how many tra sales transactions I need to have a day. Yes, sir. So right now off top, we've shifted your thinking from whatever you're doing to 1,250 sales a day. Now, before you got to this phone call, were you thinking that way? No, I wasn't. All right, that's the whole point of mentors, right? Now, does your Instagram currently market to this volume? No, sir. All right, you get me? Now, now all this is good news. All this is good news. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse these numbers, okay? I want you to, let's see, find 50000 Boom, boom, boom. So let's see how many people you would have to reach. So knowing that we need to sell 1,250, we're going to put you at a 10% conversion rate. That's going to be total. That's going to be from you sales team. It's going to be from you talking. It's from you on the phone, social media. You're going to put the 10%. That's a terrible conversion rate, but it's pretty realistic. Now, it, but there's, let me, let me, let me, I got to be careful with my words. F realistic, okay? That's just, I don't I don't ever want you to be realistic. However, when it comes to losing numbers or losing profit or profit loss, I always want you to be realistic, okay? Yes, sir. Like if you're gonna account for attrition, which means how many people you lose every month, I always want you to go worst case scenario. Always, okay? Now, don't yes, be realistic, but when it comes to losing money, I need you to be over-realistic because the number one goal of making money is not to lose it. You feel me? Yes, sir. Cool. So that basically, we're going to take 1250 and divide that by 10, and that tells you you need to reach 12,500 people a day. In order for you to get to so – so write it down this way. In order for me, put it, put the word me in there, like this is like you as an ME, so you'd be talking to yourself. It's you make first fifty thousand, yeah, first person, fifty thousand dollars a day. I, first person again, must reach twelve thousand five hundred people a day. What we're currently doing now is we're developing you a business system of how to get this done. Okay? Yes, That's what we're doing. Now, it doesn't matter right now if you hit these numbers. You now have a path. And what you're going to do is you're going to design your company, your reach, your effort, your energy around this path. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good stuff. Okay. Now, I can tell you immediately we need to come up with a monthly program as fast as possible because you're going to ex – let me break this down. You, you ever heard of the expression check to check, people living check to check? Yes, sir. Well, if you're not careful, you're going to live shoe to shoe, right? You're going to be – I got this sale, and as soon as you get that money, it's spent because you're living shoe to shoe, which is you're just trading check to check for shoe to shoe. We want to get you out that situation. You feel me? Okay. So what you need to create is a monthly subscription service that allows you to get to fifty, to help you get to fifty thousand dollars a day without your effort of one plus one, right? That that hey, buy my shoe. We want to we want to keep you in buy my shoe, but we also want you to get monthly retaining money that you know as soon as someone signs up they always buying something. So I want you to think about a monthly subscription program that allows people to get I don't know it's up to you ten shoe designs or ten shoes a month or unlimited shoes a month two shoes a month I don't know don't matter to me. We'll cover that on the next call, but I want you to be thinking about your monthly subscription program for the rest of the week. Okay? Yes, sir. That monthly subscription program, brother, is called residual income. Yes, it's your freedom money, 
You understand? It's your freedom yeah. money. That's the money that you know. Imagine making fifty thousand dollars a day and it's automatic. Imagine that. Imagine you taking a yeah, you take a full year off, and you know you're gonna make fifty thousand dollars a day whether you work or not. Imagine that. See the difference? Yes, sir. All right, cool. So we'll we'll, we'll get to the description. What we're gonna do is next week, and you just want to put it down on your paper. Remind me. So when I ask you, all right, man, what we got going on this week, you're going to tell me, all right, you said last week we were going to talk about subscription services. Here's what I came up with. And then remind me to talk about attrition rate. That's going to be very important because now that you're charging people per month, a certain amount of people are going to fall off per month. It's just, all, it's just nature of doing business. Credit cards are going to expire. They're going to get broke. Christmas is going to come up, whatever that may be, right? It's just, it's just so many different things. Remind me, just remind me to bring up attrition so I don't forget that and everything else will go from there. Okay, so cool. He said word for me one more time, the rate. Uh, 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 attrition, that's A-T-T-R-I-T-I, no, attrition. I got you. T-I-O-N. Attrition, it just means losing customers. Yeah, yeah, that's all it means. It just, you know, it's, it's an attrition rate. You know, you, if you cook some popcorn in the microwave, you're going to have an attrition rate of that popcorn because all the kernels ain't going to pop. Yes. You get me? So if, if I know I'm putting a 1,000 kernels in each bag, I need to account for so my customers can have a good popcorn eating experience that all 1,000 is not going to pop. So I need to have enough poppage if I'm selling popcorn that makes my customers not be upset with the amount of seeds that did not pop due to seeds just didn't pop, heat didn't get hot enough, or those seeds were at the bottom of pop seeds and we didn't want to pop the popcorn, or I can't control the heat of everyone's microwave. So I'm looking at the worst-case scenario, best-case scenario, and I know I want this amount of poppage to have a happy customer. You see what I'm saying? You probably never thought about popcorn that way because I never thought about popcorn that way. I just made it up, <laughs> right? But that's the that's how people think, though, right? Well, that's how when you get to this level, that's how you think. How can I make sure my customer is extremely happy with this much poppage? We, we, let's let's take that into weed, okay? Marijuana. Is it? Weed has seeds in it, right? Now a a legal or we take a legal or illegal, just depending on what state you're in. You have to account for the attrition of the weed because there's gonna be some seeds in there and you can't have too much seed. You know what I'm saying? Blah 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 blah. Is it we can do this all over the place. Uh, if you're a pastor, okay, you're gonna have to account for the attrition of church members that's gonna show up. You got church members on the roll and then church members actually in attendance. Those are two different numbers. That's a natural weekly attrition. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and for mm -hmm. it says very new to me, but I never thought about that. But it, it sounds good. Man, no doubt. And see, but I'm going to prep you when we're doing it right now that when you're doing your numbers, when you're building your system, we automatically account for it. That way you're not surprised. Because basically, attrition is money that ain't going in your bank account, so you don't need to count it. You just don't need to count it. You feel me? So when you're trying to make $50,000 a day, you're really going to have to make something like eighty or something like $75,000 a day because you're going to lose $25,000 and end up with $50,000, but we'll cover that next week. I could cover it now, but I don't want to throw too, much, too many concepts at you. I want you to stew on them for a little bit, right? Yes, sir. So let's go back to our system. Uh, say it again. Okay, all ears open up. Oh, I already know. No, 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 no. Oh, trust me. I know you're ready for it. I ain't even know. Well, let me tell you why. I know you're ready. What I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the attrition rate after you read 10X, after you think about it for a week. That way, when I give it to you next week, you're not going to get it 
as a beginner, you're going to get it as almost a master. You feel me? That's why I'm waiting. To, yeah, that's why I'm waiting next week. I know you're ready. I know you're ready. I'm, I just want you to be ready because cause, cause I'm, I'm, I'm intense. Because by the third or fourth week, I'm going to be like, hey, bro, where's your, you know, we ain't talking no more. Uh, where the post at, right? Where's the monthly program? I'm going to have you build it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't in school. We in, we in entrepreneurship. I'm going to have you doing this stuff. Now, yeah. let's go back to our system. We now know we need 1,250. I believe that's what I said. 1,250. Okay, cool. 1,250 is what we need to sell per day. You now have the mindset that every time I post, is this post worthy of me getting 1,250 people a day? If it's not, don't post it. Post something hotter. You get it? Yes. If if it ain't if it if it don't sound like the Dakota that's making fifty thousand dollars a day, if it ain't, I ain't talking about quality as far as production, I'm saying did this add value to thirteen hundred people? If it didn't, don't post it. But you got a brand now. You feel me? Like you 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 don't get to post like regular people no more. Yes. You got to post, yeah. You get the, you got to post like the star. You, you, you the main actor in your movie now. You the man, yeah. You got to post like that now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to post yes. like that now. Who now? You got fifty thousand dollars a day. That's 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 your goal now. It's fifty thousand dollars a bust. Once we get once we get to fifty thousand dollars, then you're gonna figure out how to get to five hundred thousand dollars a day. Right, but that's where we get there. Where we get there, cool. So now we got the little system. One more thing. Tell me how your custom shoes work. Now I want to point out something to you real quick. No, sure. notice I could have asked you that at the beginning of the call. I didn't need to because how your stuff worked was irrelevant until now because. I needed you to know what I observed. I needed to know what you wanted to accomplish. Now we can see how it works, and we're going to blend how it works around what you want to accomplish and what your market wants, because what you want to do is irrelevant. What your market wants is relevant. So let me define what a market is real quick. A market, write this down. A, well, let's start off with customer first. A customer is obviously what you know, somebody buying from you. Okay. A customer is somebody buying from me, first person. Under that, I want you to put the customer is not always right. I want you to, I want you to eat that. They lied to you. They told you the customer is always right. They lied. They're liars. The customer is not always right. They're typically not right. Now, the market is 100% right. Okay. So what's a market? A market is a group of customers interested in your product. Group of customers. Interested in your product, and there's a market for everything. There's a food market, right? You ever heard that before? Food market. It's, it's a, that means a bunch of people interested in going to the food. That's what. That's why you call it a food market. It's not just a grocery store, right? It's not a small grocery store. It's a food market because it's a market for food. Stock market. What's that? A bunch of customers wanting stocks. Right? You get it now? Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it my real estate market? Okay, a bunch of customers interested in real estate. There's a market for everything. There's a shoe market, and there's a luminous market as well, and that's what that's what you're going to have. Now, a market is a bunch of customers that want your stuff or custom shoes. And let me tell you something, bro. They always write. When you put a bunch of customers together wanting your stuff, that's who's right. Not one customer, a bunch of them. 
You got it. The reason I didn't ask you what you want to do is what I may change with you. I may, I may tell you to change what you want to do because it may not work for your market. I don't know yet, right? So you're about to tell me what you do, and then I'm we're about to figure out who your market is, and okay. then we'll change what you're doing or keep what you're doing. We're going to find out right now. So what exactly do you do? What do you mean by custom shoes? Okay, um, a customer will bring me a either a worn down shoe like a used shoe. Or a brand new mm-hmm. shoe. With the used shoe, I will deep clean the sneaker to make sure that they're clean for, for um, pre- preparation for paper. Um, and I will prepare it with a acetone to get the the um, factory finish off, so I can get a draw or paint, and it will stick. So uh, yeah, I'm preparing it. Then I will actually customize it. Whether it would be like a um, color change or to draw like on uh, different like figures like cartoons or anything. And after I, I do that, then I will seal it with a sealant to make sure they stick on the shoe, but either like um, fashion or to wear any game or uh, anywhere like anywhere. And, um, then I will you know, post it and then we will give them back to the person. That's what the, um, the used shoe. So with the, I mean, with, with the brand new shoe, they're already clean for so, um, no need to actually clean the shoe, but I will either, like I say, do the color change, or I will give them like a any type of customization they want to do on them. So I will best like refurbish the shoe, do it the way they want to do it, and have them how they want it. No doubt that all that's hot. Okay, there's definitely a market for that. Let me tell you something. When I was in school in the eighth grade, bro. Okay, we talking about the nineties. We would get what we call the East Bay Magazine. I swear to God, that's a real magazine. And we would literally, because there was no internet. You know, you know, some, well, it was, but it wasn't available to people. It was for government. And the East Bay Magazine is where you got the shoes, man. You pick up, you know, man. I never in my life ordered from the East Bay because I was too broke. But I got every last one of them, though, right? You, you, would, you wouldn't even cool if you were looking at the East Bay Magazine. And there would be these cats customizing shoes out of New York or something. And we'd be like, man, that's so cool, right? And so that's been a market for a while. So you're in a fantastic market. A couple of things I want you to add to this market. Yes, sir. I want you to find your way into reselling shoes. Okay. It's just one of those common sense things. GameStop is probably only still in business right now because the Internet, there's no reason to even go to GameStop. It's probably only still in business because they can buy back games, resale. You feel me? It's probably the only reason why it's still in business. eBay is in business because you can sell your old stuff there and resell it, right? Some people are just going to want to get rid of their shoes. So what you're going to be able to do is have people donate their shoes to you, Okay. Or, you know, a little little buyback program you may start. And you're going to get shoes for the low. And then you're going to have a whole stock of shoes. And there you go, right? You're going to have a whole stock of shoes. And then you'll be able to just be dressing up shoes for a whole bunch of stuff, right? So some some weird stuff you didn't even think of. Now that I know what you're trying to do for sure, you might want to write down in your near future, you're going to need a warehouse, buddy. There's no doubt about it. If, yeah, because if you, if you no, well, not not money. You gonna need a warehouse. If you're, yeah, if you trying to get to even at five thousand dollars a day is what you said. You can't do five thousand dollars a day without storing these shoes somewhere. You sure. You're gonna need a warehouse. Yeah, you're gonna need a warehouse for sure. There's no doubt about it. You're gonna uh, unless you want your your room smelling like shoes. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah, you're gonna need a warehouse for something. Lock it. And it's going to be climate control, right? Definitely. Now, also, I want you to study. I want you to study drop shipping. If you're not familiar with it, drop shipping. Yeah, drop shipping is, and you can just put it. Just put YouTube. Go to YouTube and put drop shipping in. Trust me, there's a gazillion videos. Just watch. You know, about 
17, 30 minutes worth until you get a general idea. And then I want you to study. I want you to type type this in in YouTube, how eBay got started. I want you to type that in. That, that's going to be pretty cool. And see if you can. I've never typed it in, but find some origin stories. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm taking your model and I'm, 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 I'm showing you other models that work, but I'm also exposing you to greatness and I want you to take from these models and put it into yours, which leads me to the last point that we have on this phone call now. I want you to copy, okay? Because okay. this is very antithetical of what you would have heard from anybody else. But I want you to copy. I don't want you to be like anybody, but right now, I want you to be like people, okay? I just do. I'm going to tell you why. China, when you were growing up, China was copying everything from the West. I mean, like they literally got Apple stores in China that's not even Apple stores. They didn't even try to hide it. They literally built a store, literally used the logo. Like, for real, for real deal, they just literally just straight up plagiarized. And they did. But what it did over over decades, it created some serious entrepreneurs over in China. That's why China is dominating right now. Because what it did, it, you can't copy something without learning how it works. It's, kind of, it's like reverse engineering. It's like opening up a toaster figuring out how it works and making your own toaster just like it. When you do that, it's actually going to give you new skill sets. And once you copy, what's going to happen is you're going to learn from, from places that's already successful. Once you get a few new skill sets down that you don't have, then you're going to make it your own. I'm yes, basically I speeding up your learning curve. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Don't be afraid. Don't don't be afraid to copy. Okay? You got, got to roll down. Good. Good. Gary V will help you out with the marketing and the PR. Hey, man, we, we covered a lot. I think that's it. Any questions for me? Um. I have a late. Like, Three three papers full of notes. Um, <laughs> it's, looking, it's looking everything. I'm gonna definitely go home and restudy all of this. Start shipping to the the 24th of day to and how everything started. Great, uh, Great Cardone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. everything. Good man. Good. So we will. Catch up next week, or, or, or whatever. The, uh, I think she got you scheduled for the next ten weeks, right? Is that what she did? She said every Wednesday at two p.m. All right, then that's what we do. Then. So she, okay. she she squeezed that out. So this every week, I'm a bro. You, you're gonna grow a whole lot, and yes, yeah, yeah, definitely that man. And I appreciate you following me. I, th- I think I've seen you on a few of my. My, my social media is I'm grateful. I really am. Uh, thank you for yes, texting me too. I, I, I don't take it lightly. You know, take some of this. I do a lot of good stuff. Some stuff I do that I could do better, but I do a lot of good stuff. Take that from me. If you yes, see sir. me, I got, you've been hitting me up on my fan phone. Every time you hit me up, I hit you back, right? Yes, sir. that's right. You feel what I'm saying? You're right. Yes, you ain't the only one I'm doing like that. You're, not, you're the only one that's getting coaching from me right now. But you know, like, like, do that. That's you see how I'm. It's personal. You you understand? Like, we have a different relationship. We have a deeper relationship, is what I would say, because I'm not treating you normal. Do your people the same way, right? There's a lot of stuff that I do well that you can take from. Copy it. Don't be afraid to copy. Average people are going to tell you not to copy. Don't listen to them. Okay. You can be genuine now, copy now, learn, and then you can dominate your own unique way. Okay? You can absolutely do that. So 
right now, let's speed up your learning curve and let's start reverse engineering some successful business peoples and practices. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, man. I appreciate you. We we'll convene right here. And let's see. Yeah, let's 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 chop it up and we'll get it from there, man. Hold on. I'm not sure if you already know this, but you're already absolutely perfect. You're already absolutely great. And you're already living in massive abundance. The most important things that you have is not what you have. It's not what you do. It's what you know. Because the people who do know what you need to know to lead the middle class, they're in the top 1%. And they control 96% of the world's income. 97% of this world is trading time for money. And that is not the way to become rich. It's not the way to become wealthy. And it is absolutely not the way to leave the middle class. There are 7.8 billion people in the world right now. And they all want to learn how to make money and how to leave the middle class. But the way to become a master at anything is to learn all the rules and then bend them to your favor. Right now in this world, there are 2,057 billionaires. Right now. So if you think becoming a billionaire is, a, is impossible, that's 2,057 people that have already proved that impossibility incorrect. And if you think that's crazy, there are 46.8 million millionaires in the world, worldwide right now. Now think about that. 46.8 million millionaires, and that number grows 1,730 millionaires every single day. Money is everywhere. You don't need to max out your credit cards. You don't need to borrow from granddad and grandma. Just look behind me. Look at all the wealth sitting behind me in this junkyard. It's insane how much money is everywhere, and you don't need to go out there and beg, bar, and steal to get it. You just need to know the rules of making money and how to leave the middle class. Essentially, all you need to know is the algorithm of making money, the rules of making money. All you need to know is what to do and how to do it, and you can leave the middle class. Any in industry, yoga, golf, underwater basket weaving, clipping fingernails, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is know how to do it, how to get it done, and then find somebody to teach you how to do it, how to get it done, and you will be able to leave the middle class. If you're not getting my point, it's real simple. Whatever you have up here, as long as you understand the rules of leaving the middle class, as long as you understand how to get money, you can take what's up here and get wealthy for what you already have. Right now, the very thing you know up here is already being searched a thousand times a second on Google. Someone right now, actually 1,730 people right now, are gonna become a millionaire from the stuff that you have in your head. Why can't this be you? I mean, it's 1,730 people with your ideas that are no better than you, that are gonna leave the middle class, become a millionaire. Why are you not next? So how do we do this? How do we take what you know and apply it to objective money-making secrets and then allow you to leave the middle class? How do we take you from where you are and let you escape to where you wanna go? So how do we make all this money or take all this knowledge from the Warren Buffers, from Elon Musk, how do we take everything that everyone before you has done and how do we take all of that and then put it in your head so you can leave a legacy for your family. My name is Antonio T. Smith Jr. 32 years ago, I lived in a trash can. That's right, from six to 14, I had no running water, no electricity, no anything, and somehow I'm in the top 1% today. Not because I had the right background, not because I had a silver spoon in my mouth, simply because being homeless made me learn how to make money. I retired when I was 29 years old. I'm more than likely younger than you. I'm one of the top 1% income earners in one of the richest countries in the world. What I learned how to do when I was six years old was learn how to generate enough money to eat some cookies so I wouldn't die to death from starvation. From there, I learned how to go from cookies to a meal from a meal to clothes, to clothes, to shelter, to everything else that supplied my necessary needs. When I was six, I was forced to learn how to make money. And now that's what I'm gonna do and help you do. I've seen amazing results. I have my own economy. I've homeschooled my own children. And I wrote a book that teaches you every single thing that I know about making money, every single thing that other people know about making money, and most importantly, 
all the stuff that we don't tell you. Because the truth is, and you know it like I know it, the most honest, the most hardworking, unselfish people on planet Earth live in the middle class. Yet, your honesty, your unselfishness, your devout religion going self is not enough to get to the top 1% and that's not fair. The second half of my life has been not about how much money I make, but how I will be remembered from all the money that I have made. And I've been trying to teach everybody how to get out the middle class. I'm the crazy guy famous on the internet for trying to create 100,000 millionaires. I've created eight so far. I got a ninth one on the way, all the way from India. That's pretty cool. And what I want to tell you is something very simple. It's been hard. It's been absolutely hard to help people leave the middle class, not because of the people, because the system would rather keep you being someone else's money instead of you having your own economy and having the money come find and flow to you. It was frustrating because I knew that anybody can make money. And if you knew what I knew, you would change your life. Over the last few years, I built a large following of over half a million people every month that pay me to actually for me to give them advice. Well, that's been exciting for me. And the cool thing is I've created thousands of six-figure earners. I've created millionaires. I've created people who can live their dreams and hold on to their legacies. And now my eyes are on you to create you to what you need to be great. I have been teaching my principles and these principles to hundreds of thousands of people around the world, every country, all continents, and anyone who has taken them seriously, written them down and applied them, have a 100% success rate of leaving the middle class. I've taught these secrets to my following and my inner network, and I've watched them go from four figures to five figures, five figures to six figures, seven figures all the way to eight. Everything that I've ever learned, everything I've ever learned from millionaire mentors, billionaire mentors, and everything I learned from being homeless, and everything that got me into the top 1%, I have placed inside of a book. To date, it is the longest book that I've ever written, the most best book that I've ever written, and that book is called The Richest Man and the Trash Can, and I'm offering it to you today for free. This book is gonna show you how to become wealthy into the top 1% and leave the middle class. This book is gonna give you a step-by-step -step plan if you're 30 years old, all the way to 70 years old, how to get into the top 1%. If you're a teenager, how to get to the top 1%. If you're a millennial, how to get to the top 1%. It's gonna teach you how to make six figures immediately, teach you how to get to a million dollars immediately, and all that good stuff. Plus, I'm gonna give you the 36 objective laws of leaving the middle class. Plus, I'm gonna give you every last one of my secrets that have made me rich. You have to understand that leaving the middle class is the most important fight that you're gonna have in your life. And to be honest with you, it, you can kind of relate to this. It almost takes $450,000 a year just to be broke in America. And that's just in America. If you don't leave the middle class, which is actually an illusion, then you are gonna have a really hard time. Think about it for a second. Some of, most of you are gonna be watching this are gonna be baby boomers. And you've been sold a bad check. They lied to you. Your retirement was not enough for you to live comfortable. And I'm gonna give you this book for free so you can figure out how to triple your retirement and then quadruple your retirement. And then as Grant Cardone would say, 10 extra retirement so you can live the life that's worthy of you. I want you to remember that leaving the middle class is the most important battle that you could ever face in your entire life, especially for your family. So consider this video, this book, your friendly tap on the shoulder. I wanna send you a free copy of this book because I believe that abundance is your birthright. I believe that abundance is freedom. And I believe that this book is right for you. In fact, I believe in that so much that I will send you the book for free. All you have to do is cover the cost of shipping. I'll eat the cost, I'll take the loss. And all you have to do is get the book and dominate your reality right now and apply the principles so you can be the best person for your life that is yours. Fill out the form sitting right there to the right. Go ahead, dominate your reality. I can't wait to send you my book. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to have you as someone that's been on the journey with me. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can plan better. You can dominate.